welcome back to the channel and today I have a quick little tutorial on how to do arrays around a circle so um, blender's array modifier allows you to take an object I'll quickly show you guys you probably already noticed that's why you're watching the video and by using an array you can array um, you know as many as you want along a certain axis like this and you can you know it can be very handy for duplication but how do you set it off so it can go around or have an offset around an object. Like for example, we're gonna be using empty in this tutorial. Um, how do we do that? So that's what this tutorial is gonna be about. If that piques your interest, definitely have a look and I'll show you quickly how to do that. This is more of a beginner's tutorial. So let's just quickly do a quick demonstration in Blender 4.0. So I'm gonna select all the default objects and press delete. And to demonstrate, I'm gonna go shift A. I'm just gonna to go to the mesh options and add in a monkey head. Right click and go share its move. So, there are a few ways we can approach this, but the main way you're gonna get this to work is to take whatever object you want to array, and you'll actually see in the middle here is a little orange dot. If you don't see that, go to your overlays and just make sure, sure Origins is enabled. And essentially, if you double tap R, you can see the object rotates around that point. That's important, because if you now go into edit mode, and you grab everything by pressing A, and then go G, X, so move it over on the X, like this in the front of a graphic. Now if we go back into object mode and we double tap R, you can see the rotation is now happening because that origin point stays behind and only moves in object mode. Okay, so that's important because that's gonna be where we're gonna be able to um, rotate around. So let's go with this monkey head selected. Let's go to our modifiers, add modifier. Let's type in array and click on array. And now we need to go Shift A, and we need to go to our empty options, add in a cube. You can use any object, but an empty is good because it doesn't show in the render. And then we're gonna select the monkey head. And we're gonna go over to object offset and go to the drop down, and then click on the eyedropper and select the object. Okay, we're also gonna come here to the X factor and make it zero, because we're not dealing with these spatial dimensions here. We're not going along the X or the Y or the Z, so they can all be at zero. In fact, we can just turn off relative offset. And um, now if you grab this empty here and you go R, Z and you rotate, you can see it's a rotation point. So for now, let's just actually grab the monkey. Let's give it something like eight, the count of eight. And then let's get our calculator. I'll quickly grab my calculator and just go 360 because we want to remember we're dealing with 360 degree rotation here. So 360 divided by eight equals that's going to be 45. So if we now come and grab our empty here and we go R, Z, 45 and hit enter, we can now see this is what we have. And there was some sort of funny glitch, but if I tabbed in and out of edit mode, it kind of resolved it. And now you can see we are mirroring around this. And if I grab the empty and I go R, Z, you can see this happens, right? And I rotate it. Um, so the thing here is actually, and I want you to just take this into account, if you go G and you move this empty, um, you can get this sort of thing that happens because the empty also needs to be in the same position that the origin point of the object is. Um, but this can sometimes give you some cool effects if you want to mess around with that on purpose. So you can make kind of like a helix structure by moving this around. You can also scale this. You can rotate and scale and that kind of gives you some cool effects. But yeah, this is how you can array things. And if you wanted to, you can come here and click on the empty, go to your properties by pressing N and go to item. And then for example, um, let's say we wanted to make it 16 monkeys. Uh, we can go ahead and have this. So you can just go ahead and put a little slash next to it and then put two and that'll divide it. So it's 22.5. And now you can grab the monkeys here and you can give this a count of 16. So it's, uh, you know, you can approach things very mathematically. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's been handy and I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial.